Hi, my name is Jaden Darnell, and this is the first ever episode of Kids Commons news show, KC TV. And let me tell you, the show is really off to an explosive start, okay? So let's just tune right in. Wait, hold on. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Ah! For those of you who haven't guessed it yet, our topic for this week is volcanoes. Yep, it's those heaping piles of magma and ash that we all love so much. Aww. So grab your fireproof suits and watch out for lava flows as we dive into the molten world of volcanoes. Hello and welcome to my Kids Commons Research Lab. Today, we are going to be talking about volcanoes. So I figured, why not try and make my own lava? Now I know that lava or magma is this orange goop that's inside of volcanoes. So I'm going to be trying to experiment and figure out how can we make our own lava. So it turns out that magma is just liquefied rocks because it has gotten so hot that the rocks actually melt down into a liquid and that magma is inside a volcano. Now when that volcano erupts and the magma comes out, that's when it's called lava. Sounds easy enough to me, so I'm just gonna make my own lava here because it's not inside a volcano by just heating up some of these rocks. So in a couple of hours here, we should have ourselves a good old pan of lava. Okay, it's been about three hours now. Um, I don't know why these rocks aren't melting yet. I mean, I think this thing is on. Um, I mean, they feel pretty hot. I just don't know what went wrong. I heated up the rocks and they didn't melt. I thought that's what lava was. It was just really hot rocks, but I guess I was wrong and I ended up burning my finger too. <sighs> Maybe I just wasn't meant to make lava. Geothermal energy? This, this isn't safe. There's a better way to do this. That's it! I'm, I'm a genius! We can make the lava, but it doesn't have to be dangerous. Wow. So what I have here is some watercolor, an Alka-Seltzer tablet, some oil, and some hot water. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add some of the water into the jar of oil here. So if you notice, the oil doesn't really mix with the water, and that is because oil and water don't really get along very well. So when the oil comes near the water, the water doesn't really mix with it. They just kind of like butt heads a little bit. And that's because oil is something called I'm hydrophobic which means that it doesn't mix together, it just stays separate. Ooh. Next, you're gonna add some of your watercolor into it. That way it looks just yeah. like real lava. Next, you just wanna start breaking up your Alka-Seltzer tablet into different small pieces. Now you're just gonna dump your Alka-Seltzer pieces into the mixture. And you have yourself your very own lava lamp. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it up just so it doesn't leak. So the Alka-Seltzer tablets, when it mixes into the water, it creates CO2 bubbles. And those CO2 bubbles surround the water and push the water up through the oil. And because the oil and the water don't mix together, they just kind of float up and down and just looks just like lava. Oh, I didn't get to make my own real lava, but this is much safer and I don't burn myself while making it and it's still really cool to look at. 
So thank you guys for joining me and learning a little bit about lava, and we'll go ahead and send it back to Jaden. Oh, well, I certainly wasn't heating up any rocks to make lava just like Nick was, that's for sure. I know that you can't just heat up rocks to make lava, I know that, so I wasn't, that's not what I was doing or anything. Yeah. On to the next video. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was uh, busy finishing up my picture of a cow. Anyways, welcome to Awfully Awesome Art, where I do art and it turns out, well, as you can see, awesome. Today's theme is going to be volcanoes. They're cool, they're fun, they're explosive, and also extremely dangerous. I mean, they literally shoot hot molten lava out onto the earth. That's crazy. But do you know what else is crazy? Splatter paint. Mm. So I'm going to combine volcanoes with splatter paint to make a beautiful picture of a volcano erupting that I can hang on my fridge and look at whenever I dream of being near a volcano. I mean, talk about a warm summer vacation. Anyone else? Just me? Okay, moving on. First step, draw a volcano. What shape is a volcano anyway? Like a smushed triangle with a circle on top? Let's see how this goes. Okay, once you have your picture, now is for the part I'm most excited for, adding the erupting lava, AKA <laughs> So for this, you're gonna want some paint. I chose red, yellow, and orange because those are the typical fire colors, but you can choose whatever colors you want. You want a rainbow unicorn volcano? Go for it. Okay, so just take a little bit of your paint. We'll start with some fiery, hot red. And you're gonna throw your arm back and splatter. Okay, so you're just gonna keep adding lava until you're happy. You want a little bit of lava? That's okay. You want a lot of lava? That's also okay. Hello, dinosaur extinction. And then when you're all done, you'll have a beautiful picture of an erupting volcano. So proud. And once it's dry, be sure to hang it on your awfully awesome art wall. And if you don't have one yet, be sure to make one so that you can hang all of your other cool, awfully awesome art projects. Well, thank you for joining me for awfully awesome art. I hope you had a blast. Get it? Blast? Volcano? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, see you next time! Hi, this is Whitney reporting from KCTV bringing you the facts. Alright, today we're going to have volcano facts. Fact number one. There are volcanoes on every continent, even Antarctica. I know where I'm going to take my next vacation. Fact number two. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface, allowing gas and hot magma and ash to escape from beneath the Earth's crust. Fact number three, the word volcano comes from the Roman word Vulcan, which means live long and prosper. Fact number four, volcanoes can be a variety of shapes. There are two main types though. There's composite, which are volcanoes that are shaped like a cone, and then there's the shield volcanoes, and those are more wide, gentle slopes. Fact number five, magma and lava are not the same thing. Magma is the hot liquid that is inside the volcano, where 
Lava is what you see on the outside. Magma inside, lava outside. Number six, the largest active volcano in the world is Mauna Loa in Hawaii. And the last time it erupted was April 15th, 1984. I thought Moana took care of that. Number seven, volcanoes exist throughout the solar system. And the largest volcano in our solar system is Olympus Mons, and that is on Mars. Number eight, about 1,900 volcanoes on Earth are considered active. Those are likely to explode again. What? Number nine, meliobirds bury their eggs in the sand near the volcanoes. And then when the chicks hatch, they crawl their way up to the surface. I hope they can run fast. <laughs> Number 10, our final fact. Lava can reach 2,282 degrees Fahrenheit. It can burn everything in its path. That's like a hot tub that burned your skin off. <laughs> well, this was Whitney reporting from KCTV, bringing you the facts. I'm going to get out of here. everyone thank you so much for joining in for this week's episode of kctv we hope to see you again next time but between now and then watch for lava slides